Welcome back to another episode of the Project Onboard Survivor Broadcast. In this episode, we're going through the second part of the negative traits. We finished off with prone to illness, and now we're going on to sleepyhead. Today, I'm joined by Chuck Miller plays. Hello. And Zombie Ash Gaiman. Hi. Right. So we'll crack right into this. What do you guys think about sleepyhead? Well, what do you guys think? I I've never taken it. Um, okay. And I think it would probably be an awful one to take, to be honest. Yeah, yeah for four points, yeah. I, I wouldn't be taking this. I, I go for wakeful a lot of the time. So this, mm -hmm. for me, is is a definite no. 70% um, yeah. tiredness rate, yeah. No, nah, that, that ain't touching yeah. that. No, that's... It, it's... Yeah. yeah I, I, I already find myself getting tired already. Um, mm. like my character getting tired already, and I didn't even have this trait. So I couldn't imagine having this trait because there's nothing worse than being tired for your character. Mm. And for for four points, I mean, if it was maybe a, I mean, it'd have to be an eight points for me to even consider taking that. I think personally. Yep. At least, at least. Mm. Um, what do you think, Chuck? Well, I've got to say, you you guys are wrong. You, you're oh, you're oh, overlooking oh, something really told. important. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I mean, it's an easy one to start with, isn't it? I mean, again, like Ash said, a lot of people might take Wakeful anyway. So this, if yeah. you did that, this wouldn't even be an option. Mm -hmm. But yeah, needs more sleep. Who wants yeah. to be a sleepyhead in the zombie apocalypse? Nobody, right? Absolutely <laughs> nobody. And, there's, and not exactly. at four points, as Ash said. So exactly. no. When you've got almost like three points... Uh, at hearty appetite for the same cost mm. <clears throat> excuse me then um yeah I'd, i've never taken this doubt yeah. i ever will unless i was doing all the negative traits challenge <laughs> yes <laughs> which, yeah. uh, which I know interesting. some people have done yeah. but yeah yep. that's an easy one to start with a big no yeah uh, i thought you were about to come out with some enlightening <laughs> some, information yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a minute. Insightful i'm ready and, i'm yeah. ready to be chained this this opinion I guess yeah. not. Got into a no. deep dive and it's actually a benefit or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go on to Smoker then. What do you guys? Uh, what do you guys think about that? Because for me, I don't really, I don't really take it. I don't know. I, I always find um, cigarettes hard to come by. I don't know what it is, but I've just never found them abundantly, like some people can. Mm. What do you? What do you kind of take from this? What do you what do you think? You want to, you go Chuck? You, I'll go after oh well, I mean this is one that I almost always take mm. because mm. Um, you know you and if you're doing the sort of vanilla, you, you're going to spawn in a town. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot of locations to search through, uh, assuming you don't die early on, um, and it is just a matter of time until you will get some cigarettes. If you're lucky, you could be near a bar, and you'll definitely find some mm. there. Yeah. Uh, I th on the other gas hand, station. yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, you usually find loads in the gas station. But that, I mean, or in almost every playthrough, like you guys probably experience it as well, and maybe some of the people that are listening. There's always something mm -hmm. that you you just can't find. <laughs> yeah, you know, it'd be yeah. like carpentry. I mean, obviously, we all know about the difficulties with a sledgehammer, but carpentry volume one, or mm. a certain skill mag, generator or magazine. something that you generator, really or yeah. generate, yeah. or it used to be like a gas can. Yeah, uh, not so much yeah. now. You can fill up bottles with gas, but there always mm. used to be something in every playthrough. Yep, that you really, really wanted to find, and it would just. You just couldn't find it anyway. It'd take ages. And sometimes, for me, cigarettes is um, one of those things. So it, it can be a little bit of a pain in the ass being sort of stressed. But I, I don't find that that um, anxiety moodle has a massive, dramatic, negative no. impact on my ability to fight. Transfer speed, I think. I know it right. affects that. I've, I've got it up. Got it up. <laughs> right. So there's stress. four stages of yeah. stress. Anxious, agitated, stressed, and a nervous wreck. So, uh, when you're anxious, there's no minor effects. And this, and this is when your stress is above 25%. When you're agitated, um, there's a 10% decrease in melee damage. And unhappiness slowly raises. Uh, slowly uh, rises. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is, this is when... Hang on. Uh, this is, okay. So, um, this occurs when stress is above 50%. However, this is the usual cap for smokers who haven't had a cigarette, so you can't go above agitated if you haven't smoked. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. Um, 
but as you go down, if if you are stressed or a nervous wreck, there's twenty percent decreased melee damage and thirty percent decreased melee damage. So it goes, cool. it, it it's it does affect you later yeah. on, but you get capped at ten percent decreased melee damage if you haven't smoked. If you're a smoker. Mm. Oh yeah, because it's the depression that's transfer speed, isn't it? Uh, that comes yes. from um, being agitated. I think yeah, being from. Yep. I'm getting stressed. So that's actually I didn't actually realise it was that bad to uh, melee damage. Um. Mm. No, that's, yeah. that's interesting. I mean, I I I I take this every time. I don't think there's yeah. ever been a playthrough I haven't taken it. Um. Yep. And I think recently they've added in that you actually cough when you're a smoker now. Yeah, yeah. That's that's fairly no. new, isn't it, I think? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz mm -hmm. I, I didn't have a clue and then I someone in the comments said like, "Yeah, yeah, that's am the I, thing now," which is quite good I, because I thought it was just easy points before. Am I am, am I stupid because I remember this being a plus 2 trait or am I making that up? Mm. Oh. I, I don't know. No, I don't. I mean, I've always remembered it as a plus four when I've taken it, but I've not always taken it, so I don't know. I don't know, because I remember it being a plus two or like out of the top of the list. Maybe I'm just going insane. I can't I actually remember. I, I take know. it every time, but I don't even look at how much okay, it costs. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, we'll go with I'm going insane. Okay. Well, well, well the know. other thing that, on this one, though, is can is this a negative trait that you can lose? No, so no, if you if so you no. stop, so. if you stop, say if you were you were smoking and then you stopped for, I don't know, you didn't smoke a cigarette for a week or say, yep. just for, do you then lose it? Is anybody no. aware of any sort of mechanic like that in the no, game? No, there is there is a mod for it, I think. Um, mm. but, uh, you can't you can't lose mm. it. I, I might be wrong, but maybe the stress raises slower, possibly. Mm -hmm. But then I could be getting that confused with like a, a agoraphobic and claustrophobic because that. The longer you go, you get more used to it, don't you? Yeah. Um, um, I'm looking to see if there's anything. I, I don't think there is for smoke. I, I know there is no. a mod for it. It would be good if no, you yeah. could. It makes sense. There, there is a mod for it. There is a mod for it. I've just seen it. Yeah. Quit being a smoker. I think that's the name of it. But yeah. Um, um, we should probably move on, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Unlucky. This is a plus four. This is a four. Um, and you have a minus 10% chance of finding rare loot, a plus 5% chance of failing item repairs. It also affects the search mode, but it's not available in multiplayer for obvious reasons. What do you guys think about this? Because I love lucky trait and I absolutely despise this. Yeah. What do you, what do you, what do you think? Ash? Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a lucky trait all day so I, I never even see this unlucky it's definitely yeah, not yeah. something i would take not for four yeah. points not to gain four points yeah, no, no way no. definitely not. what about you what about you chuck well i mean i when i was used i i mean i haven't looked at the uh the wiki that often so mm -hmm. i always take lucky as well but right. i always thought that lucky was would reduce my likelihood of really bad things happening like being bitten or scratched mm. okay. and obviously we discovered a couple of episodes ago that that is completely not the case but <laughs> yeah. you know the the description for lucky was some sometimes things just go your way and i don't know why but i always took that to interpret that would be quite wide ranging sort yeah. of yeah. lucky you know so i always took lucky because i thought well it's going to reduce my likelihood of bad things happening like getting bitten or scratched <laughs> yeah so and obviously we discovered it's not that bad and unlucky it's kind of like I would have the same opinion, but obviously the op opposite side of the coin. So the description, mm -hmm. what could go wrong for you, often does. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. that's quite vague, isn't it? And that could yeah. be quite <laughs> far ranging. And yeah. you just don't want that sort of shit happening um, in a zombie apocalypse when there's zombies trying to eat you. So yeah, yeah. I, would, I would just never take it, partially because I'd always take Lucky because I always thought that was essential. Um, yeah. But it's not actually that bad, really, for, I think, for four four points. And my, what you said, that the 10% chance reduction of finding mm. rare loot, mm. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, if, if, you were, mm. if you were maybe setting up a playthrough where you, would, you really had like a, some sort of subsistence sort of thing where everything was insanely rare mm. and yeah. you were sort of thinking about sort of 
foraging and, and things like this to, to, to get by, then this wouldn't have a dramatic impact, I think. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, um, I, mean, I probably still would uh, never take it because it's not it's not horrific. No. Maybe, you know, like like we said, it, there's always that one item that you can't find in a playthrough, mm. whether yeah, that's yeah. a how-to-use generator or cigarettes. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, may, may, I mean, I've took Lucky for, as again, it's one of my go-to yeah, every me time. Too, yeah, yeah. Um, always take it. And since since they you know may have changed like the loot table and everything like that, maybe you don't you don't need it anymore. It's one of them that I've just had for forever. Um, yeah. But looking at it, yeah, ten percent chance of finding rare loot. It's not horrendous, but then that that ten percent could be uh, you know how to use generators or yeah, that one exactly. item you can't find. Yeah. Um, and I, I did as well stuff. think it affected whether you got bit as well before. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. You'd think it would be. You you think it would be like um, what could go wrong for you? Often does it would be like general things such as uh, I'm trying to think. Like yeah, you get you you whenever you go over a fence or something. Yeah, you yeah, trip. Over yeah that's something right. Something like that. Or, or yeah, you, yeah. yeah, you trip on stuff. Not chance less chance of finding rare loot because mm. yeah, the description sounds really really bad. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. The generator but, exploding or something. Yeah, <laughs> like. The if things... it was, if it was something like um you're on, you 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 struggle to find requ- like rare loot or something or like, I don't know that's very very basic and straight to the point but a bit better than you know what could go wrong mm. for you often does yeah so yeah. I mean I, I I would consider taking it now if I if I needed it like if I needed mm. them four point well eight points potentially if I didn't take lucky. Yeah, um, because I'm guessing Lucky costs four. I can go yes. and have a look. Yeah, um, potentially then. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna make a note of that actually, because some some scenarios you may need them. Yeah, them extra points okay. possibly. So yeah, it's a maybe for me actually. You've uh, you've converted me, Chuck. Although actually, we're we're doing our maths is bad, right? We're 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 not we're not properly looking at that properly, are we? So because it's a twenty percent swing, isn't it? If if you're if you're looking at lucky oh, or yeah 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 if yeah. you're going lucky but then you next time just for the hell of it you you try unlucky yeah it's plus ten percent to minus ten percent so it's actually twenty yes. percent swing 20, isn't it yeah yeah and that that is quite a bit when you think about it actually maybe mm, it's, yeah it's it's what I mean, the, it's the a thing is a lot of the loot you you might want to find you you don't necessarily need to mm. find to survive really you don't need a generator yeah. to actually survive it's not essential like term, finding food you can't find that screwdriver <laughs> the hammer <laughs> yeah the hammer um, oh, i suppose you can make hammers now can't you yeah i don't know i, I think it's down to personal preference if you want mm. it, it depends that if do you hoard a lot of like rare loot do you like having yeah do you, do you like your katanas and your machetes and, and yeah. things like that yeah, well, because it doesn't really describe what they define as rare loot, does it? Um, no. Like, is is cereal is not rare loot? So, but is something like screws or like um, nails technically rare loot in the in their eyes? You don't know. Yeah, I think it, I reckon they'll work it out on the percentage something has to drop. Yeah. So if it's like a less than five percent chance that it drops, maybe they class that as rare. Yeah. But that's not it. that. That's not information we have, is it? So, yeah. yeah. Well, it's definitely definitely one that we wouldn't recommend. Definitely, mm. right? Well, I, I, to... I'd do it. Yeah, not, not to start <laughs> with. If you need, if you need the four points, maybe. Mm. But if you if you need four points, I'd pick other things. Make up those four points. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, yeah, hearty appetite, prone to illness, smoker. Yeah, uh, even exactly. pacifist. Yeah, that's. Um... There, 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 are a lot of, there are a lot of options um, mm. other than unlucky. It does get to show, though, that the um, the the description in game when you're going through the traits, they're a bit. Some of them are a bit vague, aren't they? Mm. And it's definitely worth yeah. worth everybody's while looking, going to the PZ wiki, actually mm. looking through the traits, so you can actually get a proper, better understanding of what it actually does how it affects your character and your in-game performance it's definitely worth doing isn't it 
Yeah, yeah. No, yeah or, or download the mod that tell, uh, that actually explains it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, true. there's a mod for everything. There's a mod for that. For <laughs> yeah, there, there is. There actually is. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Anything? Anyone else got anything else to say about that before we move on? Nope. Mm, don't. Think okay, we'll go on to the next. The first plus five asthmatic. Um. Faster endurance loss. 140% running slash uh, sprinting endurance loss and 130% increase in swing endurance loss. So basically, mm. you, you get tired and you get exhausted far, far easier. Yeah. Um, not for me. No, not for no, me. No, no. Not for stay me. away from this one. For five it's, points, it's, no. It's massive. That's a massive detriment to your ability to survive, isn't it? Because once yeah. you get to uh, the... Once you get past maybe the second level of exertion um things can go south pretty quickly and before you know yeah. it you can't even outwalk the zombies you know yeah, yeah. so yeah i mean it's 140 percent endurance loss for running and sprinting and yeah 130 percent in swing endurance so you that's yeah it's not so much the running and sprinting that <clears throat> you can kind of i yeah. say you can always walk faster you than zombies but that's that's that, swing yeah. endurance loss yeah that's the killer, I think, for that one. Yeah, definitely. That, yeah, yeah. That that's kind of if you want to clear out somewhere, you, you're gonna struggle mm. um, to do it like efficiently. Like you can still do it, but like you'd have to swing, you'd have to go in, and then you have to go back out. Yeah, with multi hit you know, off as rest. well on a pocket yeah. set, and it's yeah, it, it won't go well for you. So especially if you're a new player, mm. I'd say I'd be far away from this as possible. Yeah, definitely. stay away from it. Yeah, because it it you just you're just um, ruining your chances of survival. I mean, the hundred forty percent endurance sprinting loss. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you can not work ideal, with that. You but you, yeah, you, you can live with it. Yeah, yeah, you just you. But I mean, a lot of times in my playthroughs, I'm not really running or sprinting at mm. all. Maybe if I'm lazy and I want to run through my base yeah. at my yeah, point, through, through but, the base, that's very yeah, very exactly. I jog around or run or whatever. <laughs> but outside, I'm, I'm walking because. I want that quick turn, and also, yeah. I know that it speeds up at time in game as well. But you can do like the walk two yeah. function and just yeah. speed up, save your if, energy, if, if you're... just walk two. Yeah, exactly. If if you're impatient, but yeah, yeah. I, I would steer very clear of this. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay then. Well, we're going to hemophobic, and uh, this is a plus five, and this is when uh, you panic when you perform first aid and you get stressed when bloody now i'll quickly put my piece in my character is always bloody i try to clean them but i don't know how it happens but my character is always bloody I <laughs> what do you mean you don't know how it happens what do you mean <laughs> well, well you know no like you smack one zombie and you're basically in a layer of blood like i just you've got like a coat on it um I, yeah I, I i can't do this for some reason well i can but it's um, it's something which well, first off, you don't want to panic because as we realised in I think it was last episode we talked about how bad it is when you panic in the game. Yeah. Um, if you're well, I mean, the the main the main part that I see right, which panic when performing first aid on self, I, that's not necessarily bad because you might be doing that when you're by yourself and safe. Mm. Um, you can't uh, perform first aid on others, so you can't do it multiplayer. Um, but the main problem which I have with this trait is get stressed when bloody. Because oftentimes I'm bloody and my clothes are bloody. So having that and always having that kind of stress or panic, mm. that's not for me. Yeah. Not for me. I think I'd agree because, you know, like you say, you go into a fight, even if you're clean, you go into a fight within, you know, five minutes. You can... mm. Mm. Yep. Um, it is one that I used to take. Uh, many mm -hmm. hours and hundreds of hours ago, and I just used to think, oh, it's, you know, five free points. But it's not, though, because, you know, when you're sleeping, if you try and sleep bloody, it'll wake you up in a panic as well, or it used to. Um, and I could never rem I could never understand why I was waking up panicked, and then I it clicked, oh, it's because I, my, all my clothes are bloody, and I'm bloody, so, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, I didn't realise it woke you up. Mm. It, yeah, yeah, it, it does. It used yeah. to, yeah. I don't know if it, I haven't taken it, it in. I think probably it still a year does. If, if you spend, I, I, I don't know what the actual numbers are, but if if you have a certain period, let's just say 
for argument's sake, as an example, three days yep. of being bloody and, and like maybe maxed out blood or something, I don't know, then, yeah, yeah you, it does wake you up in a panic in the middle of the night, which is a super pain in the ass. Mm. Yeah. Nothing worse. That's... No, especially when it's, like, dark, like, two in the morning where you can't really do anything outside. Yeah, if you haven't got any sleeping you're... tablets or anything, then... You're just standing around up, like, just in your bedroom. Just messes your whole routine up for the rest of, for the next yeah. day. Yeah, exactly. And well, for for quite a bit, if you're um, following like a like a strict schedule. Mm. Yeah, I'd, but, I'd yeah. stay away from this one. Um, no, I, I I always take this one. I always really. Take... Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I think for the plus five it gives you, it's mm -hmm. one of the because yeah, once we get to the sort of five plus, that that's they're usually quite serious, aren't they? Yeah, mm. you know they're they're quite a significant a pain in the ass or whatever. But I think it's manageable. I mean, maybe it's because I always take smoker, mm -hmm. so I can almost you can sort of manage it by smoking. Mm, so, okay. yeah, I mean, you might have to smoke more often, but if you smoke, uh, it, even if you're absolutely covered in blood and you've got hemophobic, it does still take the stress away. Yeah, oh, that's that's interesting then. Mm. Okay. When you can, so I always say so you can just as the thing, and I find, so yeah, sometimes I'll forget, and I'll be like, I've just spent the last three or four zomboid days clearing out an area of zombies, and I'm just absolutely covered, and that's yeah. all I'm focused on, and I'll forget, and I'll go to sleep. Uh, I'll I'll probably because I'm a smoker, I'll I have a smoke, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll forget and I'll um wake up in the middle of the night and it's a pain in the ass it really is but it's so, not that it's not that hard to manage i mean you can for one water source so i mean like a sink yep bath or um toilet i think they're all the same you can what you can wash if you're not using soap you can wash two items of clothing mm -hmm. and obviously you can just change your clothing as well mm. Yep. Yeah, that's true. It's it's not that. That's true. It's not that so um, it, rare really? to find more clothes. If you if you're in a, it's quite often you'll get more clothes on, uh, on the bed, won't you? In bedrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even if you're playing six months later and all the zombies outside, their clothes are ruined. Mm -hmm. it, it's not that. It's ma for me for the plus five. It's definitely manageable personally. Hmm. I'm going to look into that one a bit more. Maybe on one of my next playthroughs, actually. Yeah. When, well, know... I mean, it's it might have more of an impact if you're not a smoker because having that fag will take away the stress for a while. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Even if you've got hemophobic and you're absolutely and the, red. the panic side of it is just from performing first aid, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas stress Which... is just from bloody. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes away pretty quick mm. so if you're if it just comes so you're up not going to your... get panicked from the blood on you that's just going to stress you out you're only going to be panicked yeah yeah and See, the, that, so the panic goes bad. pretty quick that's, that's the panic it, it mm. the panic goes it's like you when you you know when you're like fighting a big group and yeah. the, the the panic comes and goes mm. quite quickly doesn't it yeah yeah it's, yeah. it's the assuming that you know <laughs> you survive and you kill <laughs> yeah. all the zombies um yeah. and and it happens like that with um performing the first aid you get that f bit of right, panic yeah. when you're actually doing the action in game and then yeah. it just goes it goes pretty quickly and to yeah, be so fair there's not... Not, there's not really a lot of first aid you're going to be doing to yourself is there? hopefully not yeah. if ever, hopefully not maybe <laughs> but it, it just goes to the first level of panic and then goes okay. it doesn't that's not stack. bad at all like you so, say yeah, if it's so paired it's with smoker yeah I think okay. for plus five, it's one. It's more. It's manageable because you can wash your clothes and you can, yeah, um, swap them. Some of the more run of the mill ones, like jeans and things, mm. you can just swap those out quite easily. Yeah, yeah. I... So I might have changed your mind on that one. You, you, you have. <laughs> I think you, you have. Yeah. My interest in changing. I mean, <clears throat> thinking about it, well, the way you've described it, it seems much more manageable. Mm. Um, but I can see how it could be a pain in the ass, though. But I, yeah. I, the the effects of it for my character builds are probably minimised because I've always got it with Smoker. So I'll have yeah. a fag and that anxiety will disappear. 
That'd okay. be like me because I always take smokers, so that would work quite well with my my yeah. playthroughs. I think. So Definitely going to look into be, that. It may be more of a pain in the ass to manage if you don't have that smoker trait. Mm. But having said that, can you, even if you're not a smoker trait, can you still smoke cigarettes and it will I chill think, you out? I I think I don't know. Begin to. I, I've heard somewhere that if you smoke and you're not a smoker, it actually kills you. I oh, really? yeah. Hang on, hang on. Let me look this up <laughs> because I've seen it in a video somewhere. Uh, uh, non-smoker. I mean, I, I think it has to be like a large amount of like mm. cigarettes. Just chain smoking all day. Yeah. <laughs> Although, uh, if you were if you were thinking about smoking cigarettes as a tactic to reduce the effects of haemophobic, you'd just take the smoker trait anyway, wouldn't you, really? Mm -hmm. you, yeah. There's, there'd be yeah, no reason. You'd yeah, be crazy not to. That'd be nine points right there, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm, well, I'm looking, and there's nothing... There's nothing about it, really. But I've seen it once, where if you smoke so much as a non-smoker, it, it lowers your hair. It lowers your health to a point where if you continue going, you can die. Hmm. Oh. Um, I presume you'd have to like chain smoke though. Constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's not not like one or two and you're on the floor. Oh, I've never, never. Maybe the Reddit Reddit will know. Yeah, yeah. Or let us know in the comments if if you've yeah, experienced that nice. this. There's so um, much deep mechanics, isn't there? Yeah, They're just not immediately obvious. You've really got to dig into the code to yeah, yeah, exactly. Find this stuff out. Well, one thing that I'm realizing from looking through the web, well, the Instagram. Instagram, um, the internet. People are complaining that they can't find enough cigarettes or any cigarettes. Mm. Now, I don't pick it, but where do you guys recommend to go to gas stations? Yeah, and gas stations. Where else? And bars. Bars. And bars. Some You're of the almost always little find convenience stores something. as well. Like the 7 okay. Eleven kind of things. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to double check. Can you die from smoking? Um. Okay, so I'm looking here, and th this guy said that he's not a smoker, but he thought he was. He broke into his home. Uh, it, his character was panicking. He smoked a single cigarette, and now he's dead. <laughs> so, wow. like, just on the floor. Um. Now, I <laughs> don't know if that's him not realizing. That like he's been bitten or scratched or something, <laughs> yeah. but you know that, that that there's one account of it maybe. Now I'm I'm, I'm trying to find something to uh, not make me <laughs> feel like I'm making it up. This is a myth that needs to be busted. It does. It does. It needs someone to, needs someone to uh, myth bust. Myth bust. There are myth busters, aren't there, for Zomboid? Yeah, yeah. There were a couple of videos. Yeah. Yeah. There's probably somebody out there that's covered it. Definitely. Probably. Yeah. Mm. The trouble is though with um. Uh, in in dev game like this, things change, yep. don't they? Mm. The, you know, they change the mechanics or the rules or, or whatever, so things can be quickly out of date. So it, it can be tricky trying to find accurate information. I find sometimes with Zomboid, mm. yeah, and you'll find like a uh, a Steam community post from like 2016 or something. Yeah, you gotta yeah. be careful with how old it is. Yeah. And you're just like brilliant. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> I always take hemophobic. I always take it, okay. but I always take it. It's not a um, premeditated. It's not a plan, but I always take a smoker, mm. okay. just because I find that quite easy. And hemophobic, I have a similar viewpoint. I don't find it. I'm definitely dramatic. I'm definitely going to be taking hemophobic more. I think. Yeah. But it depends. I, I mean, you can't take it if you take desensitized, which yeah, I see, think I, I was, a lot of people yeah. do take that, don't they? But yep. with the the mod become desensitized, would that? That's true. But I are think we that talking? Would work. But like, are we are we doing this kind of series that we're doing as a modded playthrough? No, 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 no. no. So yeah, so, as, as vanilla, yeah, vanilla, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I I understand why you take it. I understand, and I'm I, I'm kind of now going. You know what? Those those five extra points that they could be pretty useful. Yeah. That's something which is manageable. Yeah, definitely. Um, especially if you're a smoker as well. Like that's what, um, that's what five. That's, that's nine points mm. for, something, for something that's manageable. 
Yeah, yeah I think it would be a lot worse if you didn't have that smoker option because yeah. you would probably, uh, you could spend the whole day being abs an absolute nervous wreck, yeah. which is like 30% reduction in melee damage. Which, yeah. I mean, for them, yeah. for the points for that, you could go and get yourself like near enough the strong perk. Yep. Mm. Just from taking that, because strong perk's 10, so you'd need. I'm not going to say Sunday driver, but yeah, you know, a, a couple something of others. Like that. Yeah, something yeah. Like that. Um, that's strong right there for something that potentially is quite manageable, which I think is quite, yeah, quite good actually. Yeah, yeah me too. Well, uh, let us know what you guys think because I'm I'm on the fence. I, I think I think if I if I if I saw it and I, I remind I'm reminded of what you said, Chuck, I'll probably pick it mm. and I'll I'll put it with the smoker trait. So. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to test it out, I think. Yeah, thanks for enlightening me. I, 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 I won't go that far, yeah. mate. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> you learn something, you know, new every single time you look at a wiki or something in this game. Yeah, every day's um, a school day with Project Zomboid. I know. So much, so many new things. I didn't realise they added the um the coffin with the smoking banner. Yeah, it's, it's got to be fairly new within the last month, I think. Yeah. I think it's a bit older than that, but it, it's definitely... Just a couple of months. Oh, maybe yeah, I didn't I was notice it before. I was confused when it first started because I, I thought it was a mod. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't play with a ridiculous amount of mods, but I always play with, almost always play with dynamic traits. Mm. And that does some funky stuff with your, um, with your traits sometimes. Yeah. Uh, and I thought it was part of that, but uh, yeah, I didn't realize it was in the vanilla. When but, I yeah, first been, saw it, I was like. Months. I've got a cold. How have I got a cold? It's the middle of summer. Oh, yeah, What's course, going on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got outdoors, but I shouldn't be having a cold. Mm -hmm. but... but yeah. Right. Um, I think we'll move on to the next one. Uh, feeble. This is a plus six now, so we've gone up. Less knockback from melee weapons and a decreased carry weight. Um, and it's a minus two to your strength. Uh, I, I don't generally pick this. Because I, I go I my, the the way I build characters is I go with quite a lot of the bad ones like the 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 big the big ones that I can kind of reverse over time. Um, but this this, this feeble one, it, the, the decreased carrying weight is the killer for me. Um, I always have quite a lot of stuff on me for all situations, and then decreasing carry weight, not it, and less knockback. I like being able to knock back a lot of zombies. Um. And the minus two in strength that will hurt you um, because it's so hard to level up. Yeah, yeah. What do you what do you what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Chuck? Well, it's not one that I take, but mm -hmm. I think it's it's maybe if you were clever, you could maybe minimize its effect. Maybe I don't know if there's such things that you could choose in the positive ones that would boost your strength back up. Maybe, but. Um, I I don't take it because I generally tend to my character builds they generally tend to have pretty average strength or fitness like 6 or 7 um mm -hmm. so anything that would further reduce that level is just I just wouldn't go anywhere near it for sure and as you said the I mean, we, we should say that the decreased carrying weight and the the minus 2 strength that's that's one and the same isn't it Mm -hmm. Is yeah. that the strength? The, the amount of strength yeah, is, the is just just transfers to what your carry weight is. Yeah, yeah. but um, I mean, it's interesting though because it, it says in the description less knockback from melee weapons, and it's like, well, how much? Yeah, how much is less? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. No. It's maddening. Mm, but yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't take it because I I generally don't have very strong characters so there's no way that i would want to take this and put the strength down to you know four or five yeah uh, and again the carry weight is important to me i like to have a bag on my back and i like to have uh, a hit list of a dozen or so things i like to have mm. always and will yeah. carry everywhere not mm -hmm. the same <laughs> yeah um, just that just that set of tools or those vital <clears throat> bits, like I, I always carry around medical supplies, so I, I I carry around everything I need if if I come into any situation where I need my medicine, like medical tab, mm. um, because there's nothing worse than going through a um you know 
getting a shard of glass if you accidentally go through a window um, mm. and you haven't got, you know, something to put out with. Yeah, they so get carry it all around. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. That, there's, there's an episode in that, isn't there? There's definitely an episode in that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to carry? You know, we've all got, because we've all, again, <laughs> yeah. we'll have the traits, we'll all have our own personal yeah. opinions. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I mean, I, I, I kind of try to balance it between having space because I, when I used to play before, like when I used to just to chuck a lot of stuff in, I used to carry too much stuff. That when I actually then went out looting, I hadn't, I didn't, like there was no space to put anything in. Mm. Um, but I knew I was safe because I had everything I need on me. But I couldn't then, you know, loot things. Um, so I've cut down a lot on what I do carry around. But I, I, I'd say. Out of let's say a bag is like a backpack is like let's say thirty weight. A good ten of that is on stuff that I just carry around with me. Yeah. Um I'm because, probably the same. Yeah. Exactly. And but it used to be much worse. So I used to hoard stuff in my backpack all the time. And always be um encumbered. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm always encumbered the first level. <laughs> yeah. People are always like, what are you doing? Yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> Empty your stuff off. It's like, I need all this. I need it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So what about you then, Ash? Do you, would you use this something you nah, like nah, or go no, for? No, won't go there. I always go for high strength, high fitness. So I'd, I'd yep. normally go for strong. Would would not go for feeble. Nah. Yeah. Not no, in any me, situation, me I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, nah, not, not one for me. Not one for me. Okay. You know, as so, you said, yeah. uh, as you mentioned, um, Sam, getting that strength leveled up is mm. just almost impossible, isn't it? Really, it's such it an is. impossible grind to level up your strength. So for six points, uh, trait skill points, to lose two in strength is just, no, it's just too no. expensive, too expensive. Yeah. yeah. But too I expensive. think all, also as, as well, but in general, with these, these traits... It's it's a balancing act, isn't it? it? It's sometimes it's not necessarily how much it costs or what it does to your character. It it eliminates um, what sort of traits on the other side you could have. Because mm. so we, we've said it quite a few times, haven't we? Or we would never take this because I always take the polar opposite. Yeah. You know, we never take sleep ahead because we we always take wakeful. Same with lucky, unlucky. And I think a lot of people they'll probably take you know strong or stout uh, and so yeah. feeble would never come up with it because also if you it's a as we said with the lucky trait it's a it's a two-way swing isn't it mm -hmm. you know if you were if you always took strong then that that gives you plus two strength i presume doesn't it uh i think it gives if, you I, more i think uh, it's a right strong four is strength four, four. Strong oh, so it's not. Strength. Oh, so sorry. Stout is stout, the yeah, sorry, polar yeah, opposite. Yeah, yeah. Then, so yeah, not too. strong. So obviously, if you if you took feeble, you couldn't take stout, obviously, no. uh, and vice versa. If you always took stout, you're never going to be able to take feeble, and it would yeah. be a, a, a four point. Yeah, that's, thing that's on crazy. Strength, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I think a lot of traits just aren't on the table because you always take the polar the opposite, opposite of it. Yeah. You know. But yeah, I'd never yeah. take feeble. Too expensive. Too yep. too expensive. Because of yeah. ones like the next one. <laughs> yes. So, what do you... What, 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 okay, okay, right. Try, you, sound, you sound like you have an opinion on high thirst. Um, <laughs> well, not really. I mean, it would okay. be the obvious opinion that everybody else could possibly agree with, right? So, uh -huh. Okay, or... so I'll, I'll, I'll run through it quickly. Um, high thirst. Uh, basically, what it, it's incompatible with low thirst for obvious reasons. Um, the general... The description of it is need more water to survive, um, and it's two hundred percent increase of thirst. So, what do you what do you think, Chuck? What do you what do you what, what do you what do you, do you like this or do you not like it? Probably in terms of negative traits, this is probably the biggest no brainer out of all of them. I yep. I would say definitely. I, mm -hmm. I I never understand people that say, "Oh, I find it really hard to find water or food." Um, I mean, you know, every even the smallest house will have one sink. Yeah, that's which true. Will will keep you going for a couple of days, and it, in your average house might have uh, four sources of water. You'll have a sink in the kitchen. You'll have a bath, a toilet, and a sink in the the, the uh, bathroom. 
Mm. Uh, and you'll find offices, there'll be, um, you know, the uh, water dispenser things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you know where they are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I, I never find it hard to find water. I always, always take high thirst. It would probably, you know, be like the first name down on the team sheet, as they say. Yeah, 200% mm -hmm. thirst. So what? I mean, if your character, obviously, it autom you automatically drink, don't you? Yeah. Yes, it's not as though you have to perform. I mean, you can change it, but you you, you don't have to perform an action mm. like you do when you're smoking or or eating. You just automatically drink. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I just couldn't see why you wouldn't really. Two hundred percent thirst. You need to drink twice as much, but there's water, water everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. I mean, I I don't actually take it anymore. I used to. Uh, all the time, and I, I don't know why I stopped. To be honest, because like you say, it's, it's essentially six free points, isn't it? Really, I, I, I was literally scratching my head there. I literally <laughs> scratched my head. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it, there's so many different traits. I mean, it. it mm. uh, you know, I think sometimes... I kind of swapped high first out for um, hearty appetite, but then why not just have both of them? Yeah, I always have both. Always. And I mean, I you know, I always go for a high strength build, so. I can just carry two uh, bleach bottles instead of one. I don't know. I don't know why I stopped taking it. Thinking about it, I, don't, I need to start yeah. taking it again because it is. Like you said, maybe because it was just more of an annoyance. It is uh, an annoyance, filling up, but um, it's something which I tend to pick. Um, I did because for ages. it's manageable. It's manageable. It's it's a pain when that little thirst icon comes up and you've got to be like, mm. right, time to get the bottle out of the bag, but. It's a plus six, and you can get some really good stuff with plus six. Mm. And plus like six. we've said, yeah, and like we've said with food, and now water, there's abundance amount of it if you're playing on the normal like difficulty. Yeah. Um, and like attracts that you can go into any place, and you've got a bathroom with a sink and a shower, and a toilet. Mm. Um, you've also got a kitchen with a sink. You know, you've got there's so and the many water dispensers as well. Wouldn't yeah. you? And wouldn't you know where they are? Exactly, and like I'm sure both of you too, with the um, water barrels into uh, a sink which purifies mm. the water. Yeah, because that's what I have. I have in my playthrough. I have like six water barrels all feeding like two sinks. Yeah. Uh, I've I've never had an issue with water. Never had an issue with water. It's always full. The barrels are always full because it rains enough. Um, yeah, it's a no-brainer for me. I'm going to be honest. I, you can boil water as well, can't you? So if you can... Mm. Yeah. It always felt a bit weird, but I always really... Early game, I was always really pleased if I found a cooking pot. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds a bit daft for like a zombie yeah. apocalypse. But finding a cooking pot, put it outside. Yeah. Next time it rains, it's yeah. full in no time. And you boil that if you've still got electricity, of course. And you've got another source of water there. Yeah, or well, a camp I mean, you, yeah, I was about to say, you yeah, put it on a campfire. Or a campfire, true. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there, there's always ways to do it, um, and yeah, it's a bit tedious, and yeah, whenever it comes up, you might be a bit annoyed, but it's an extra six points, and with six points, you could literally get what you could get, um, you get a fast learner with it. You can get keen mm. hearing, um, stout. You know, organized stout, yeah, thick skin. skin, all all of them. I mean, keen keen hearing right there. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Sold. <laughs> Yeah. That's, all, that's, that's all you guys go on about that is <laughs> honestly, keen hearing this honestly, keen hearing that <laughs> if, if you if you if you join us if you come over to the light side uh, you know and you you try it out you, you, you just wait you till, them, uh, till them sprinters start getting you in camden county yeah, then then exactly. you'll come to this side <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> but when you get jumped from behind because <laughs> yeah. no one out because you just don't see them or hear them <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait for the day, won't we, Ash? We'll wait yeah, for the day. Yeah, we'll be like, away. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're probably uh, uh, right. You're probably right. One day I'll just come out of it. I'll say, "Oh, you guys, what was I thinking? Not having keen hearing." <laughs> and you'll feel so smug, won't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think you, the only you just thing won't I was... admit it now. Never. <laughs> no, well, I, I, it's like I've just never tried it, so I've got used to yeah you know, how it works, basically. Mm. So yeah, probably if I tried it, I'd probably think, "Oh, this is amazing." But mm -hmm. um, especially as I'm now playing with sprinters as you said <laughs> but maybe i'll try it next time huh yeah, yeah and then okay. i'll be converted okay 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 cool um i think yeah, i, I mean, just want to say yeah. one more little thing with yeah, high thirst 
is oh, you mentioned it, Sam. Uh, I, the way I would manage it, I always have a second bottle in yeah, my bag. I have, I have three. No, I, I have a second bottle in my bag because okay. then because if if you're wearing a lot of clothes and it's a hot sunny day and you're doing quite a lot of physical work mm. as, as you'd expect in a zombie apocalypse you can sweat a lot and you do get through the water yeah definitely so i, I would always have a, a bottle of a second full bottle in my bag that i can just if i run out of water and I'm, i haven't got anywhere nearby i can just pull it out of the bag carry on Boom. simple yep yeah yeah exactly um Right, well, have you got any, any more, anything else to add to High First? Nope. No, I need to start taking okay. it again. Other than take it, why wouldn't you? There, there we <laughs> are. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to the next one. Out of shape. Um, it's a plus six. Low endurance. Low, en- uh, low endurance and low endurance regeneration. So, And it's also a minus 2% fitness. But one thing that's annoying me here is it's not telling me how much the endurance is lowered by mm. and how much the low endurance regeneration is lowered by. Um, which is a bit frustrating, because you think it would, considering how descriptive this has been. Um, what do you What do you think, uh, Ash? What do you, mm, de- what do you def- think? Definite no for me. Uh, I go athletic all the time. Um, so, mm-hmm. I mean, endurance is the thing that's keeping you going, isn't it, I think? Mm-hmm. And uh, anything yep. that lowers that is just making your death sooner, I think. I yep. think. Yeah. It's a no from me. Definite no. Not worth the six <laughs> <Okay>. points. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, what about what about you, Chuck? Yeah, yeah, can't disagree with any of that. As you said, it would be nice to know an actual physical number or percentage of mm-hmm. how it affects your endurance. But yeah, as soon as you start getting uh in tired out exerted quicker it it stacks doesn't it you know you're yeah it, you don't do as much damage with mm. your melee so that means you have to hit more and then that will reduce your endurance even further so anything that hastens uh yeah. you getting knackered is a big no-no definitely mm. and I, I think it's the same with feeble really isn't it you, mm-hmm. for the massive minus two hit you take on your fitness it's just too expensive too expensive yep. Just wouldn't do it. Yeah. No. Um. I I agree too. It's just that lower endurance, like you said, endurance is you know low endurance is a killer. Um. And minus two fitness as well. You're never going to get those two fitness back, however much nice. you try. Um. Just yeah. Not not for me. Not for me. However, anyone else any, anything else to say to it? Nope. Nope. Okay. Other than I wish that they would maybe fix the strength, fitness, XP gain so it wasn't such an impossible grind. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, it's, just, it's it's more frustrating than anything. Mm. Because I, I think, I, there I think I've said it, it but still. Yeah, I mean, I've said it in the past where you can spend a, a month mm. out like every, every evening going for a half hour run and at the start you may be struggling to complete it, but after 30 like 30 days let's say of trying it you'll be considerably better and you know you'll see yeah. a difference that literally it would be like 164th of a level in this game <laughs> yeah. it, it's it's That's so generous. yeah i know it's so infuriating <laughs> yeah. because it's so hard and you'd think like my seven month old character would be more fit than he was at the start yeah killing just, just killed tens because, of thousands of zombies yeah. Will exactly. be knows how many fighting machine. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But we could talk about that yeah. for ages. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> hopefully when the build forty two comes out, they've tweaked that because I, I think it's something that a lot of the community have vo- voiced their opinions on it. Mm. It's yeah, always it the does need to be sorted joke like of it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well um I guess we're going to wrestlers sleeper sleeper then. Uh, we didn't do overweight. I overweight, think. overweight. No, I completely yeah. missed it. Right, overweight. Um, <laughs> plus six, uh, reduced running speed, low endurance, and prone to injury. Um, now, there's a lot to this one here. So, the starting weight is 90. Um, you get 1% slower running speed. 
uh, 200% endurance loss, 110% chance to trip while running or sprinting when vaulting a low fence, 95% chance to trip a lunging, to be tripped by a lunging zombie, 85% chance to climb a tall fence, uh, to fail to climb a tall fence, and 70% endurance generation. This one to me is probably one of my least favorite traits. How badly it just it's awful. Just, it, it's awful. It's awful. Um, I'm always someone who goes very underweight, and mm. I just eat everything. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm the back. same. Because that that stuff there, it, like you know, 200% endurance loss. We've just yeah. been talking about how important that is, and this just completely. Yeah. And it, yeah. it takes a lot longer to lose weight. Mm. It, yes, it takes, exactly. I think, it takes three days to lose a pound and one day to gain it. Yeah, I may be wrong. It may have changed, but it was something like that. Yeah. So it's just to, to take over weight it just baffles me. Yeah. Don't take. I mean, yeah, it's awful. I mean, literally, I, I I've never had a problem with my weight in game, and I, I literally went to the mall across Crossroad Mall. I went into a kitchen and picked like. Um, I, I got one chocolate bar and like seven hot sauces, like bottles. <laughs> yeah. And I, I know that you wouldn't have that in real life, but I had those. I had like four hot sauce bottles in one day and a chocolate bar. And because of all the calories and stuff, I, I went up to like, I think it was 79 weight from like 76. Yeah, because I think 75 like, is the cutoff. No. Yeah. No. Well, 76 no. up, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, just so, yeah. To me, it's kind of a just, just you know, it's awful. Y- yeah, you can always you can always increase your weight mm. very quickly in this game. Just stuff ice cream at the start. Yeah, butter, ketchup, butter. mayo. Yep, yeah. all all of the Cereal. unhealthy stuff. Just yeah. just have it straight straight from the bowl. Um, yeah, that's just simply for me. What do you think, Chuck? Yeah, yeah, well, some big numbers, isn't there, in the old... Uh, there is a lot. Effect. effects. I'm 200% endurance loss. That's the... That's the for for problem, six yeah. points, for six points to spend on your positive traits, it's just... No, no. no. <laughs> Unless you really wanted to give yourself a challenge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then, no, definitely not. And, and it is... I mean, they, they have made it a bit better with uh, under uh, gaining weight versus losing weight by... The changes they made recently mm-hmm. um with um that you know you before you weren't using calories when you were walking or yeah standing, something, standing, something standing, yeah. And they've changed it now mm-hmm. and I, as somebody who always has hearty appetite i definitely noticed that i had yeah. to eat a hell of a lot more food now yeah um to put on the weight but it's still a lot easier to gain weight mm. um even if you've got um, insanely rare loot. Um, yeah, as I said earlier, you you spawn in a town. Yeah, it's yeah. Not going to be if you find you know one can of food or one food item for every location you get to. That still you'd be doing okay, wouldn't you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 No. Um, no. I, I think it's just a don't don't pick it. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, it's that endurance. Like, <clears throat> you know, compared to getting ahead of ourselves, but, you know, underweight, it's just, there's no endurance, I believe. It's all about damage for underweight, isn't it? Whereas mm-hmm. overweight, it's endurance. So, yeah, if anything's taking endurance away from you, don't stay away from it, I think. Yeah, especially at the start. Yeah. And yeah. especially if you're a new player, just, you know. I guess just, again, it's another yeah. one that's just way too expensive. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we're going to restless sleeper now. Uh, plus six, you need more. You need more sleep. Um, so, uh, so you sleep for a few hours at a time, and slower loss of tiredness when sleeping. So, yeah, this this I, I don't pick this one. No. So I'm guessing it's like you. I, I don't think I've ever taken this one. You you wake no. up after four hours. And yeah. have to go back to sleep, and you, yeah, you don't. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I, I would, I wouldn't pick this one. Never have, never would. I don't think. Nope. I like, I like my days. My, my, the day length for me is good at the moment. You know, I go to bed at, you know, twelve or eleven, and I wake up at 
about seven thirty, mm. and that's 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 good. That's a good schedule, and I've kept to it for the last two weeks in my playthrough, and it's it's been really useful. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't pick it because it's just it's just so frustrating. Like just sleep. Yeah, um, I think I think you'd be tired it. pretty much all the time, basically, yeah. and um, you'd be getting tired earlier in the day as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it would just be not me. I've never taken it. I don't know if you could manage it with sleeping tablets. Maybe actually, yeah, you probably can, but you'd still you know, be sleeping you... for longer, wouldn't you? Yeah, but if yeah. you run out of sleeping tablets, yeah, exactly. Then I was going to say, stuck with it, and you, you, I think you would literally be. You, I think you'd wake up tired, or yeah. you'd wake up and you'd be tired before midday. Yeah, imagine <laughs> having me. that with sleepy head. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that, that'd just be awful. God, like the worst two traits put together. Well, the worst two like traits combined. Mm. Um, yeah, so not for me. Knock on of each other, wouldn't they? Be horrible. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, um, I, mean, I think we all I agree. Think yeah, it's probably more managed. It's because as well as sorry to jump in. Oh, I was just thinking. That now and again, my brain works. You couldn't because I was thinking. I, I watched. Um, a YouTuber called Communant Archer, and he did this playthrough yep. where he didn't go to sleep, like ever. Oh, okay. And he managed right. it with taking just taking coffee and vitamin pills and tea to just basically get rid of the tiredness. And so again, you could how long did of, he? I I can't remember. I must have watched okay. it like two years ago. I think. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> um, but it it showed that it it sounds like a crazy thing, just like not mm-hmm. sleeping. It's just like that's just a crazy thing. Yeah. Why would you do that? But he did manage it. He did manage it with, uh, obviously he was, I guess, a bit lucky with finding the right loot. Yeah. But I guess it made me think that maybe you could manage this trait with vitamin pills and coffee and tea. Mm. Yep. It would just be a bit of a pain in the ass, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so you could either take sleeping tablets to help you sleep or take uh, the things to reduce your tiredness, maybe. Mm. So it's yeah. possibly manageable, but it'd be quite again. It's it's quite a lot of pain in the ass for mm. six points, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's still quite a bit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, anyone else got anything else to add before I move on to slow healer? Mm, nope. I well, I think. So. Well, I'm going to say one thing, and it's a general thing about the traits is that maybe mm. it'd be nice. Maybe they need to not not completely rewrite them, but there, there's definitely an imbalance because uh, unless you're deliberately not choosing them you, you do kind of end up taking the same traits again and again and mm. again you know they're the yeah. meta build they're, they're obvious choices you know the yeah. out the out of shape the i mean sorry the high thirst mm-hmm. the slow healer which we're going to do next um mm. it makes the me they're a bit imbalanced there's a lot of yeah just way too expensive for what they give you yeah or vice versa yeah like outdoorsman you know that's the life <laughs> over, and it's, it's a yeah. plus two like yeah. really um yeah i would say that there needs to be a bit of a shuffle around and i i just think generally this needs to be I, I, it's already very detailed but it needs to be clearer and more kind of there's more variation uh, well, I, know I know there's a lot of variation in it but there needs to be kind of a um I don't know how we re- put it, but it needs to be more balancing, I suppose. Balanced, yeah. yeah. They do need to just completely go through it, I think, and just completely rework it, which I think they probably will, because they're going to have to add, you know, all the um, trades, I suppose. Yeah. To build forty two, aren't they? Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, rather than me, I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for listening and watching, guys. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are on the traits we've ran through so far. We will be making this negative traits a three-part episode, so the part three will be coming very soon. Cheers!